Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a minute. Back with another new toy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday. This is happy Tuesday and I got my tactical shirt on right here. I got my tactical kitty shirt on to let people know when I see when you see this shirt, I'm not fucking around. So this is a real good day and I got a real good surprise. I got some new toys. I want to step out the way and I want to introduce the stuff. We got some new things. Is less lethal, is lethal and less lethal. And I think this will help and let people know a lot that's going on right now. It's a new product and I'm going to show it to you right now. So let me get started. Shut my mouth up and let's get let's go. Oops. Anyway, we'll move this out the way. So this is fresh from the gun store, the Caltech KS7. You know I got the uh, KSG, but this right here is fresh out the box, brand new, unused, untampered. This baby right here is nice and sweet, but this not all. I got a new number treat for you, KS7, out the way, we move this box. We got a versus. Here we go. The Bulldog. The ATI Bulldog. That's right. Check it out. Both bull pups. Brand new. Never fired. But, like I know some people say, what this got to do is less lethal. Hold up. Got another treat coming for you right here. Did my research and I didn't find no videos that I wanted to know so when you don't find something you gotta do the shit yourself I did back uh, a couple months ago I did the video on the KSG this baby right here love it had some fun with it but we're not talking about this today we got some other bullshit that's my wish. So we got a good. This is a good one. This is something that I would want to see. So I'm going to open this right now. And I wanted to share it with you when I opened it. Like I do a lot of stuff. Let me get this right here. Okay. Want everybody that we can all do this together. Here we go. The burner. 12 gauge shotgun shells. And we looking at them together. This is my first time touching them. You know, these came out like a month or so ago. I didn't even know they was around. I just seen it. It was a new a new product. I said, this is perfect. You know, Grimberg came out with this a while ago, around about December. So I'm gonna take my shades off for me because a viewer told me to wear my glasses in the next video I do with these shotguns and I agree. I listen to everybody and I respect everybody's comments and we listen so this is a learning community, even for me. So I had to remember that. I just didn't wear them last time I excited but I'm gonna take them off and put them back on. I wanna thank my lovely wife for being a, being a camera woman today and demonstrating, let me shoot her with these shells and test them out I already told you it's not gonna hurt baby, but you know, she she's a deer and she's gonna let me hit her. She told me just don't hit her in the in the face and she'd be alright, so we'll be good. But no, I wouldn't do that, baby. But here they go. We're gonna open up for the first time. These are the connect um shells. This is what they look like. It's like a little missile on the inside of them. So we're gonna see that after we do um do the do the video once we load them. So, if you know anything about the KS, the KS7, it takes seven rounds, like the other one takes 14 rounds. And it takes more bird shots, but we're not doing that. Because I'm out in the woods, and kids outside, and I don't want nobody thinking that there's something going down in the county. So, 
I'm gonna save that for the real deal. But these right here, they say they have a less noise. But I got two different bullpup shotguns here. One is a pump and one is a, a rapid semi-automatic. So I talked to a representative over at Burner and they told me that if I put them in the bullpup, in the um, bulldog, I would have to rack it back and load it. It won't be rapid fire. Where it's made for the order for the pump, I can pump it back and forth. So we're gonna see what it, see what happened today. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. So I'm gonna split the box and have them put three in there and three in there and see what happens. So this is what they look like. And it look, it's crazy looking. I don't know if they have um, fire. Um, all that gunpowder in it but i'm going to show you another gun um 12 12 gauge shotgun shell comparison so i'm going to give a shout out to grimberg what's up kurt we got you in here so this is a bird shot with live ammo and everything in there. And this is the Grimberg and this is the Burner. I wish these two companies come together and connect and make something happen with their launches because everybody has valuable information in the less lethal community. But here we go. I'm gonna load this one up because we did the last video with Kirk. But we're going to do a video versus Grimberg versus these right here. But right now, we're just going to shoot these in. Because this is what everybody is talking about. So, I'm going to load up the um, the Bulldog first. So, see how these go. I'm going to put three in here. I don't want to waste them. They look fun. The box was, it was a 50, it was $60 for a box of it was $50 for a box of 10. So I put four in here. And just remind me to put my glasses back on. So now, I'm going to load up. This is my first time. Oh, I mean, this is so nice and light. I swear. If you need something for home protection, a bull pull up shotgun, just to. The, the racking, that right there would send somebody running. But like I said, we don't want to kill. We want to do most deterring, but if we got to kill, we do what we got to do. If you're fortunate to own a shotgun, because some people ain't don't have that same privilege, but if you can and you can use less lethal, this is a good um, option right here to start. Plus, you can still use the, um, the first model. This one holds 14, this holds seven. Get them, kitties. Bow, bow, bow. All right, but we're not doing a video on this one. But like, so I'm gonna load here. And one, I might load this whole box up. Two, three, Um, I might, I'm gonna save some for the, the KSG, but here we go. It's in there, put my glasses back, and we're going to be shooting that Mr. TV today. So I'm gonna put these on. First, we're going to start with the KSG, not the KSG, the KS7. And uh, baby, this it ain't gonna hurt us, so let's see what happens. See, like I said, I'm going.
penetration. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. This is this right here. It smells like firecrackers. It smells like firecrackers. It don't smell like gunpowder. But it did, you can see it did penetrate the TV. Right here, right here, right there. And um, this is what the projectile looked like open. Looked like a little missile. Y'all crazy. I don't know what they use for gunpowder, but it wasn't loud. And um, here we go. And um, it won't kill nobody, but it would scare the shit out of somebody <laughs> if they see this part. Nobody's not trying to figure out what the hell is in the in the middle of a here, but you know, I don't know. But let's see what happens. When you load it into the bulldog. Ready? So they told me that I would have to rack it. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna see if they go, I'm gonna see if it do rapid fire, but you know, we're testing it out together. It's almost like a musket. It's not kicking out. Before I fire another one, I want to see. The missile. <laughs> the missile stuck inside. See what happened again. I will. I don't think we should use this inside of a bulldog because it's not kicking back. Like you know, it could be done, but I think we should stick with bird shots when it comes to the bulldog. So we see what happened, and we got one more round. So. I'm gonna stick it back inside here to use that. And um, I'm gonna see, we're gonna do a quick versus. So we're gonna use the Burma round plus, and I'm gonna load up the Grimberg round and see, I'm gonna put them, we're gonna do close and see what happens close. So we let, um, the Burma go first, and now we're going to do, we'll do side view. Come a little closer. I'm going to come closer and see what happens. So, this is the um, Burma round, 12 gauge, and then the next one is going to be the Burma round. Baby. Well, Burma, <laughs> Burma won. <laughs> um, uh, I want to say, Kurt. Them kids. I think that you put too much gunpowder in that box. So, let's see. Come on, we here. That was a Burma. 
that was the Grim Bird round. Oh my goodness. There it go right there. So you seen it live like I did. Um the Burma round the, the Grim Bird round had a lot more punch. And it wasn't a live round because it didn't penetrate the TV, but god damn. <laughs> it got so <laughs> That's a good deterrent. And here's another. <laughs> here's the, the Burma. So we all we don't gotta say who won with that round right there. I want to thank the subscriber that told me to put on my damn glasses. <laughs> and I'm telling everybody, put your safety glasses on, lethal or non-lethal or less lethal. Trust me. But. That's it. And um, so come on in there. I don't think this is like, this is nice. I mean, I think this is nice for what it is. Um, it feel light. It feel much lighter than the um the KSG. Um. I would probably keep one of these in the truck, but you know, this is for home defense. Um, I live in two different states and I'm licensed in one. So, but we can have one in the house. I can't take this one. So this is going to be left behind and the other ones I can take around with in my other state, the great state of Pennsylvania, where we can carry a Gatling gun. Thank you, PA. And I'm in a neighboring state where we can't do that. So, but let, allow me to have something is fair. I can't walk around with this, so that's fine. But as you can see, Big you, Grimberg, Burma, and you heard the cut. Look at. See, I'm gonna say something. I think if this had this, this would if 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 Kurt, you might can experiment with this. You get some and stick them inside there. It probably worked together. I'm still a little shook up from that last Grim, um, Grimberg shot. God damn. I you put some powder in that thing. I don't know what Burma's using, but Grimberg and Burma got two different um, launch powders. And this is the Burma. And somebody will have a nice size headache if it had that much power behind Somebody's going to have a stamp on their damn head. This right here will scare somebody. This is almost like practice rounds. I would give, the, like, you know, if I wanted to practice, I would practice. But if I wanted to do some damage, y'all seen it for yourself. What would you choose? I would go with Grimberg um, products. So, that's it. You seen it for yourself. I'm just going to let off. The, I got one more round for the the burner, and I'm going to shoot it at the TV. And thank you, TV. Did anything? Let me just just check the other side. Oh shoot! Um, come around this side, sweetie. Yeah, there you go. Was that a burn? Was that a burn shot? I don't know. I don't know. It said low recoil. 
I'm going to look on my boxes again. We're going to do this together because I don't like to hide and cheat nobody. You see a low recoil. And these look like the 68 calibers in there. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Like, I'm going to just do one more time. Double check. Mm -mm. Time to go. That's it. Um, I don't know if you get what batch you gave me, Kurt, but that that's, per that, that's a little loud. Signing off. Talk to you later. Thank you.